15-year-old charged in connection with a deadly crime spree last week learned today that prosecutors are committed to trying him as an adult. He made his initial court appearance in juvenile court. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas was there and joins us now from the juvenile detention center with the new developments. Derek? Erica, we got our first look at the suspect today, although we will not show him. In court, he looked so small and so young. It's hard to believe he's charged with murder. We apologize deeply and that we're very, very sorry about their loss. After the hearing, Kenneth Riggins, the attorney for the 15-year-old suspect, focused on the family of 38-year-old John Yingling. On February 13th, Yingling was shot and killed as he sat in his vehicle in his driveway. The 15-year-old suspect is charged with that murder along with 17-year-old Saquon Burr, who has been charged in adult court. The suspects led police on a high-speed chase that ended in Brownsburg with a multi-vehicle crash. Prosecutors say it's imperative to have the 15-year-old tried as an adult. I mean, the fact he is 15 years old, the fact he is a child, but you also have to take a look at the actions that were involved here. Murder, attempt murder, robbery. I mean, this was a very difficult situation where there was a real danger to members of the community. Not just one member, but several members. Riggins disagrees and asks the judge to order a psychological evaluation for his client. Yeah, he's in, in tears. You know, he's a 15-year-old. He's a teenager. This is terrible. He's crying for the loss of that, that life, and that's what's important. Just looking at him, he's so small and so tiny. Uh, can he deal with this situation? Well, we don't know. That's why we're having a psychological evaluation. The 15-year-old's father declined comment. His son is held at the juvenile detention center. We will not use the teen's name unless he is waived to adult court. Now, that hearing on the psychological evaluation will be held on March 7th. Uh, the matter about the adult waiver will not be set until a later date. Live from the Juvenile Detention Center, Derek Thomas, RTV6.